Thanks, Deborah. I'm David Weiss. Yes, we need the rain. A, to reduce the risk of brush fires. And B, it knocks the pollen out of the air for allergy sufferers. But C, the weather stinks. I want sunny and warm. We all want it back. And I have 60 seconds to go find it. That's why they call me the Minute Man. At least I think that's why. So not only was today a rainy day, to make matters worse, it was a Monday. What a, state of war what a way to start the week. I guess it could only get better from here, though. At least we hope so. Let's see if David Weiss can find some nice weather ahead. David? Well, I'll tell you this. It wasn't easy, Rich. I looked high and low. All five boroughs, Jersey, Westchester, Connecticut, Suffolk. I dropped it on Nassau County today. Let's take a look. This is Laurel Hollow. Nice place for a walk in the woods. Wide open today. No waiting. Gray and damp all day long. Imagine how nice this would have looked on a sunny day. But today, you had a pond. You had trees. Not one human in sight. I was so lonely, I would have welcomed the maniacs from Deliverance. I was very lonely today. Satellite picture, no surprise. Lots of green in the upper right-hand corner. A stubborn system still swirling, counterclockwise rotation. Eventually, it will spin out to sea. This thing's been with us for about two days, dumping at least an inch and a half to two inches plus of rain on the entire area. But there is some nicer weather to come. Current radar shows lots of green here, even some yellow. Heavier rain at different junctures today. We have some clearing right about here. However, eastern Pennsylvania, more rain headed our way. What can the future cast tell us? Well, it started from midnight. Kick it forward, and that means more rain overnight. But look, morning hours, it seems to be gone, so this is on its way out tonight. Overnight. Temperatures in the 40s. Few more showers along the way. Breezy and chilly. Leading into tomorrow. We start out cloudy with some leftover drizzle. Temperatures eventually will make it to the 50s. Some sunshine. Yes, sun by afternoon. Breezy. That's the big factor for tomorrow. A stiff northwest breeze. 15 to 20 miles an hour. Gust to 35 or more. It is going to be cool. A clear night ahead for tomorrow night. That leads us into Wednesday. An even mix of clouds and sun still on the chilly side. We'll be in the 50s and still a little breezy. Nighttime low of 44. Thursday we turn the corner. Here's the turning point right here. Sunny and warmer. A high of 67 degrees. Now Thursday brings us close to the end of April. Friday is the last day of the month of April. And it ends with a beautiful day. Temperatures will be up to 70 plus with lots of sunshine. And the weekend featuring at least some sun and 70s. We stay in the sensational 70s into early next week with a little bit of rain possibly a week from today. So now that we have gotten this rainy Monday out of the way, we can climb up the staircase with each day representing a step on that staircase towards sunshine and warmth. I can only hope that there's a couch and some snacks at the top of the staircase. I get tired and hungry easily. Rich, Michelle. <laughs> Thanks, David. Thank Let's you. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in sports, the Devils are left with a big hole to fill. Plus, the Yankees make the most of a day off. They stopped off at the White House to visit the president. Kurt Sunder has that story and much more up next in sports.